uh, I think I can understand that they are considered to be a threat, uh, especially in the background of Europe. I think I read quite some literature about the worries about these uh, internet platforms. Uh, but from the perspective uh, of where I'm from, because I'm from China, and we have these uh, bigger uh, platforms, and they are also somehow said to be more concentrated because at the Tencent you can basically do everything, including buying your, paying your electricity bills and uh, payments, digital payments and so on and so forth. But uh, I'm considering that uh, as far as I'm concerned right now as a kind of blessing uh, because um, uh, it is uh, in China there is the rise of two logics. Uh, which is slightly different from uh, Europe and the United States. And we see the rise of both, of both the private logic or the magic logic in China, which is a challenge of the previous uh, state uh, kind of uh, monopoly or power. And also we see the rise of a grassroots power. So these two forces are joining hands, which creates quite some diversity in a scenario that was dominated by the state in the past. So I basically consider the rise of these platforms as well as many others as a kind of blessing.